All right. Let's see. If you folks can hear me, let us know here. We are live on KWTN. This is Alan, Nebraska. My name is Garen Coons, and I uh, appreciate everybody joining us here today. This is our first episode of Winnebago Talks, our new talk show that we'll try to do on Tuesdays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., and uh, your folks will be joining us here for the next hour. And we have a lot of good things that we're going to talk about. Today I am joined by uh, two ladies here that will help us out. And um, if you could, go ahead and introduce. If we want to start with uh, whomever, go for it. Uh, my name is Tyler Snake. I am the Win Office Manager. And I kind of help out with the radio. <laughs> right. My name is Bethany Redhorn. I'm the Communications Office Manager, and I kind of help with the radio, the wind, the live streams, a little bit of everything. Okay, so the KWTN Allen, Nebraska radio station, the big voice, the official radio station of the Winnebago tribe. We started this project a long time ago. It's been a long time coming. Kind of want to give you folks kind of an overview of what we're going to be discussing here today so that you can stay tuned. Now, uh, since we have our introductions, uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Garen Coons, communications officer for the Winnebago Tribe. Been in this position for about five years, and uh, it's been going good working with the council. Uh, we also have the LED screen. We have the Winnebago and the news. Uh, we do the social media on the Winnebago Tribes. And we just started a Facebook page, um, the Winnebago Big Boys. So, yeah, we uh, appreciate it. And it's a little muzzled. It's oh, fuzzy. okay. Oh, no, it's good now. It was fuzzy for two seconds. So here we go. Uh, first, we're going to have a special guest department that will be telling us about the Angel Decor Museum and uh, some really neat projects that they have coming up. Uh, we'll also be talking about the Winnebago Bagel Bits and the last issue of The Win. Tyler Snake will be taking us through that. Uh, we'll be discussing some of the recent sports events happening in the area in Winnebago that uh, was really neat, and um, also some of the surrounding towns to check in and uh, all you sports fans out there, stay tuned. We got that coming up. We're going to have our very first trivia game, and the game is going to be between you two. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question, all right? And we're going we're gonna to have, we'll send Bethany out of the room, and then we'll have Tyler answer him, and then we're going to find out who is going to have the most points. And we'll keep track as episodes go on. And uh, the game is called My Answer Is. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll close out today's show on a great discussion on Winnebago Talks and some of the things that we're going to have to be going on. So right now, we'd like to get into the Winnebago in the news. Um, one of the points that we wanted to discuss in the win is that um, this here, KWTN, the big voice, uh, what we did decide to do is uh, we finally got a license, and um, our tower is out in Allen, Nebraska. That's our city of license, and um, they've been doing a great job working with us. The city has, and... Mr. Matt May has been helping us behind the scenes. He's behind the camera here today and uh, doing a lot of good things and stuff. So uh, with, with the help of the emergency management and a lot of uh, the tribal council, uh, we also had some help from a committee. Um, I know that the committee met together, and there was a lot of good things that happened. Finally, uh, when the CARES Act came up, and uh, they were asking for projects that would help um, mitigate you know, some of the COVID spread and things like that, uh, we decided that maybe we should try to put in for a radio station transmitter. And uh, what we first initially thought when we got the radio station was that uh, we're like, okay, we got a donated radio station. Let's check it out. What is it and what do we do with it? And uh, it's a non-commercial, but all it was is basically the license. So just like a driver's license, you get your license and stuff, but you still have to buy the car. So we needed to buy the car, and uh, we decided with the CARES Act that we were going to buy the transmitter. We put in for that project. It was approved by the Winnebago Pandemic Task Force and the Tribal Council, and uh, we hired an engineer to go out there to Allen, Nebraska, help us out, and finally we're on the air. So we are in the need of some content, and this is why our very first Winnebago Talks episode is happening here today. So, Winnebago Indian News. Bagel bits are very special to the Winnebago Indian News. We've been doing it for a long time. The Winnebago Indian News is how old? It is 50 years old. 50 years old, and uh, they're doing a lot of good things here. So, we're going to turn it over to Tyler to take us through the Winnebago Bagel Bits. All right, forgive me if I say this wrong. So, it's Waruha Hub de Grande was held at the Whirling Thunder Wellness Center on February 4th. 
Door prizes were being called out and the room was filled with a various, one second, with various vendors of all types. Misty and Jerome Jefferson were setting, were selling several Mexican style dishes. Mike Waddell of Red Hand, Red Hand Arts, forgive me, had a table full of his multimedia arts and crafts. Uh, Carlos Carriaga had his own custom apparel designs. Hey Hey Girls beads, beads and creations were present and more. Just to name a few vendors that were present, attendees commented on the lack of social events that were happening during the colder months, and we're happy to, well, and we're happy to see that they're all gathered around in such a successful event. So thank you to everyone who attended and helped make this possible. All right. So I know that that theme for that um, event was kind of like a uh, Valentine's. If you needed to get something for your Valentine's, that was the uh, day to do it. And uh, it sounded like it went pretty good and good to see the vendors kind of, I know over um, the pandemic time, a lot of them were making items. This didn't really have the outlet to get those items out. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. it was good to see kind of, and we, they had it close, appreciate uh, the COVID security that was down in Winnebago to kind of make sure that everybody was still social distancing and masks were required to come in. And, and uh, we at KWTN want to encourage everybody to make sure that they get their vaccines and their boosters if uh, eligible. So uh, what is the next one? Okay, and then on February 11th, Winnebago Two Spirit held its Valentine's Day card making supply bag drive through. It's a tongue twister there, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, the bags are full of diverse types of crafting paper, stickers, glue, and snacks. Thank you to Two Spirit for thinking of families and creating this fun opportunity to create a Valentine together. Um, and then this one was kind of funny because this time they got a picture of me pulling up instead of oh. me <laughs> taking a picture of them. So I was just, the table's turning. You know? So you're always behind <laughs> the lens and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the Two Spirit organization, they do a lot of um, outreach events. I know that yeah. in the past they held a event down there at the LED screen mm -hmm. and did an excellent job and stuff. So it's yeah. good to see them out and definitely um, more knowledge. And how, do you know how to get a hold of those guys? Do they have a Facebook page or social They media? do have a Facebook page. Um, I think it's just Winnebago Two Spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, next one. And this next bagel bit took place on Valentine's Day. It was the Winnebago Senior Center, um, kind of repetitive, how <laughs> the Valentine's Day sale. The sale has been annual since 2010. Tables were filled with beautifully decorated baked goods, vase assortments in different price ranges, roses, balloons, and more. It's safe to say they had everything. Wait, wait, wait. Safe to say there was something for everyone's loved one in mind. Thank you to the ladies who provided this sale and our community members. But in my opinion, it was just like a good last minute stop for like, you know, people in town because. Um, what was it? Walmart and Target were just, their aisles were cleared out. So, Oh, so yeah. Tell us about that. Thing. I know that, um, you know, you have to go to Walmart and try to pick up uh, some items for, like, your kids or whatnot yeah. and all those things. Back in the days, you used to have the mailbox and, you know, mm -hmm. you had to make your own mailbox and then put your Valentines in there <laughs> and whatnot and stuff. So did you, are you, are you that, that mom? Yeah, I try to be, but this year I was kind of behind, so I was just making the best of it. Went to the the party supply section and got the, you know, those little um, goodie bags you hand out at birthday parties or something. Right. Got that and a bunch of little tiny toys and candy. So it still worked out good, but just know for like next year, you got to be like. Got to be on it, kind of order. Yep. Definitely, definitely. So um, to tie into that too, it's Easter's next month. And the Walmart aisles are already full and getting, you know, deteriorating. So this is just a reminder right now to get out there. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> there you go. And so the senior center, do they have, um, I know that they supply the seniors with um, kind of lunchtime meals and stuff. Do they yeah. have um, some more events coming up? Or I know that they used to have like, what is it called? Gaga's Flea Market or, or whatnot on Saturdays mm -hmm. and Saturday mornings. Where yeah. Sorry, I'm going to open my throat. But we're working towards getting a calendar from them monthly so we could put that out and you know, keep the word going. Get that good, good. All right. So um, for those folks that don't know, uh, we are, if you're in the area, make sure th to share and tell people about KWTN. It's uh, on your radio dial. It's 100.9 FM if you're in the Winnebago area. You can get it up in Sioux City. I was over in West Point, and you can get it over there. The tower's over in Allen. Uh, we're also on the Winnebago Tribes website if you want to get on there. And uh, those people, I always like to say, those people that have a cell phone in Hawaii, 
um, our tribal members in Hawaii and stuff, they can just, you know, you can tune in basically anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we're on the Facebook page of uh, the new Facebook. Maybe tell us a little bit about that before we go to the last one here. Yeah, um, yesterday we just established the Winnebago, the big voice. So it's Winnebago, the dash big voice, and big voice is together. Like Facebook, they have to have like a recognizable name. So we was trying to, you know, we wanted to stay with the big voice, but we wanted it to, you know, work out good. But um, we are going to be putting a lot of content out um, regarding sports, community events. Um, just, you know, keep keep establish. I can't even talk. I'm sorry. No, keep you're fine. establishing yeah. more content. And um, just hopefully it just continues to grow. And we want to, you know, we want it to keep growing because our hope is to, you know, be able to cover more than just like sports events, like cover other things too, and just, you know, get out there more. Yes, definitely. So this is the very first. We're monitoring Facebook right now. It looks like we've got about eight people that are tuning in. And uh, we got four likes. All right. So we got <laughs> four people. That Awesome. That, that, that is good, good to see. So for those folks that are on social media, on Facebook, make sure you check out. Uh, we do have a YouTube channel coming um, your way. We just haven't got that up yet. Yeah. It takes a 24-hour period and mm -hmm. stuff. So we're in that kind of 24-hour period to get that up. And so like kind of uh, over the airwaves, it's good to see uh, Mr. Craig Cleveland Sr. So it's good to see this project finally up and going. Congrats. Uh, we posed a question yesterday. It says, the what top three songs would you play on KWTN, The Big Voice? Uh, we're just starting out, so we want to get a good playlist. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's see if uh, your some of your music makes it on there. <laughs> All right, Tyler, back to you with the Bagel Bits. All right, and then this one's still Valentine's themed. Um, the Winnebago Tribes Human Resources Department hosted a friendly box de decorating contest. Mm. Um, shown is the winner, Winnebago Food Distribution. Congratulations to them, and thank you for a thank you HR for putting this on. I'm getting all tongue tied up here, but <laughs> so they had a box. Uh, no. Yeah, you should show it. Show it uh, for those folks that um, well, we can't really see it on online. But pick up the Winnebago in the news, and uh, you'll be able to see which box won. It was looks like a, it was a kind of a pink box with Yoda on the top. Yeah, it says "Spread Love, Not COVID," and then it has Yoda or Baby Yoda holding a little hand sanitizer with the mask on. It's Definitely. pretty cute. I'll give them that. All right. <laughs> So for those folks that don't know, um, there's kind of an inside, um, <laughs> I, I would say kind of a little bit of rivalry right there because uh, we, as the Winnebago in the news, are a little salty on that one. I mean, shout out to HR for putting on the contest. <laughs> um, you know, there's certain things that, uh, anyways, ours <laughs> didn't win, right? I just got one last thing. I'll be back next year. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ours um, kind of tells what we decided. Well, basically yeah. it was you, but. It was very last minute. That's one more thing. I'll stop there. <laughs> and it was a, a mailbox? Yeah, it was um, kind of try to make it towards Valentine's theme. It'd be like Cupid's mail truck or whatever. Mm -hmm. Cupid's mail truck. It was cute. It was, it was really, really cute. cute. Yeah, back in the days <laughs> and stuff, you, in order to do Valentine's and stuff, you had to pass the notes, remember? Because it was in social media. There wasn't no texting, no cell phones and mm -hmm. back in the 99s. But... I mean, Tyler's young and stuff. She probably <laughs> never been through that period and stuff. Yeah, you know, I was but like, whoa, you got to be bold for that, huh? You got to <laughs> yeah. man up and hand them a note. Yeah, you got to <laughs> write your feelings down and then try to hand them a note and stuff. You know, they don't do that Those anymore, right? I mean, yes or no. no. Right. <laughs> yeah, the, love, the love letters yeah. or, you know, asking for, will you be my Valentine's? You know, that's... Uh, Pretty interesting. Anyways, uh, so we'll be back next year. But congratulations to Food Distribution. They won themselves, a, I believe, a pizza party. And mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a morale bo booster and something mm -hmm. to shoot for. And yeah. I, I kind of like that. Back in college, we used to have intramural sports. And each, like, hall used to try to compete. And what we try to do is be the best one to win and stuff. So I kind of like the HR's idea mm -hmm. on that. But I don't know if they're going to maybe do a Easter basket or if they have something else coming up and stuff. But um, pretty cool. And... Uh, HR does a great job. If you are looking for a job, I know they have a lot of jobs posting mm -hmm. on their website. Just go to yep. WinnebagoTribe.com and uh, check out all the jobs. There's actually, I think, if you go to the Winnebago Tribe's website, there's three tabs there. One says, like, uh, Winnebago Comprehensive Healthcare Systems. That's the hospital. Then it says Little Priest, and then it says Tribal. And so click on the Tribal one, and you can list all the jobs. And we have a job that's listed as well. If you're out there, and uh, we are looking for a win editor, one of the big the news editor. So if uh, you know anybody, um, send them our way. Put their resume in. Yep. I just want to add something on that. Um, there's an, a sh uh, in an, I can't even say it, an employment tab. 
that's what it, it's on the tribes. It's just like a by itself. Employment. Oh, okay. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So that was the one of it. Can you kind of, uh, uh, is there any bagel bits? So tonight is our publishing, the one of bagel in the news goes to the printers tonight. Yeah. And then it comes out Saturday. It'll be in the mailbox Saturday. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of give us a sneak peek? Do we, what um, bagel bits do we got coming up? Do you know? We'll have to wait for our readers. Oh, okay. I want we're you guys have to, to tune in. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll have to make sure. Um, but yeah, folks, if you haven't been able to um, get a subscription of the Winnebago in the news, we have a break in announcement, and we appreciate those that are tuning in. We have about 13 people, and uh, we got uh, Mr. Matt May holding 50. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I like it. There, we, we're getting, we're getting. So <laughs> we got a, we got 50 minutes to go. We've been on the air for 10 minutes, so that's. Dude, that I appreciate. Like it. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. All right. So we're still kind of figuring out the realm and, and stuff. But anyways, so back to we have a special announcement. Do we want to announce that now, or do we want to wait later to announce that special announcement for those that are tuning in? I've got my note here. You nah. got your note. Are you ready to roll? <laughs> Yeah, um, thanks to the ARPA program, we have requested that every tribal member has, every tribal member's head of household receive a free copy of the win. Since then, our request was approved, and now this is our first announcement bringing it up. So I'm pretty excited. It's like a good opportunity for all our tribal members to be, our head of household at least, to be informed. <clears throat> so it's pretty exciting news to me. The American Rescue Plan Act, uh, the ARPA project. Billy Kitchian is the, the Winnebago COVID-19 co grant coordinator for that. Uh, we put in a, um, how do you say it? They kind of have like applications. They went from the department department and said, hey, what do you need? You know, how can we make sure that um, COVID doesn't spread further? Or how can we make sure we get news out about COVID? So I know that the Winnebago in the news in the past um, has charged the subscription and I think, what are, I'm not even sure what it is. It's $35 um, for a year or something? It, it was, um, so it's 25 for, or it's um, free for Winnebago residents. Okay. And then uh, 25 for Nebraska residents and $35 for out of state. All right. So we send about, how many out in the post? Um, I would say about like 17. Mm, yeah. 1,700 about. 1,700 that we send out. And, um, now, with the ARPA project, we don't have to charge the out-of-town subscription because, mm -hmm. as understandably so, there's a cost for postage, there's yep. a cost for printing, mm -hmm. and then, you know, our cost to make sure that it goes out. So the ladies, they do that on the, the backside. I really appreciate your help. And, you know, it's been, I, we haven't missed a deadline mm -hmm. um, and since the, you know, uh, man, going back to Jerome LaPointe days and stuff, you know, he really did a good job of making sure that the win, and we try to stick to that. Um, deadline as much as possible. So every Saturday, uh, the in-towns will get theirs, and then out-of-towns usually, I don't know, they probably get theirs on maybe Monday or Tuesday. Um, mm -hmm. Before, it used to be that way, but um, now uh, it's it's all in one go on Saturday. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. nice. So, um, but there you go, folks. You heard it first here on Episode Talks, uh, the Winnebago Talks, Episode 1. Everybody that is a Winnebago tribal member, head of household, will receive one-year subscription of the Winnebago in the news. Mm -hmm. So we are working with the enrollment department to get that list, and we're going to be rolling that out. Thanks to Tyler Snake, the office manager, circulation manager, mm -hmm. the Winnebago Pandemic mm -hmm. Task Force, the Winnebago Council, and uh, Bill Kitchian for helping us out and making sure that that project is going to be rolling out probably the next episode or the next issue. Yeah. The next Should issue. Should be done. Nice. I had some confetti or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, Tyler, you started when? August 30th. August 30th. So the wedding, how, do you, how do you like it, working for the win? I like it. It's, um, there's a lot of cool opportunities to, like, I don't know, cover stories, but it's, sometimes it doesn't even feel like work. It's like you're just out there getting uh, to experience things, you know, and just having the honor to write about it, too. So if we, um, how do people get a hold of you? Or what's the best way to, if they have news or, or whatnot, what's the best way to do that? Um, you can contact me at my email, tyler.snake at winnebagotribe.com, or my, I was going to say my new phone, but um, I'm blanking on the number. It's there. <laughs> okay. But I could post that in kind of an invitation for invites because I'd always like to get invited to 
events for bagel bits rather than finding out about them, mm-hmm. you know, last minute. But yeah, if any anybody's listening right now and has an event or in, in town, invite me. <laughs> hey, we, we must have did something because on Facebook there's th- we jumped up from four to thirteen. Uh, we even have Dang. a person that says that. Uh, let's see here. I just want to make sure I give a good shout out here. Quince Bass said, "Good job, great guys. Uh, you must be tuning in." And uh, this is where you can get one of Bagel Talks, the information. Uh, Wakan Petit. Wakan used to be my uh, <laughs> classmate over at Wayne State College, man. We were really? just We used to live kind of in the same hall, Bowen, Bowen Hall. So we get to see him on. Mandy, uh, Mindy says, this is awesome. Me and my child enjoy listening to 100.9 FM. And uh, there's a lot of good stuff on there. So We have uh, someone tuning in from Minnesota, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we appreciate them. And um, this is the very f- – so every Tuesday we're going to try to do this for an hour. Mm-hmm. And um, hopefully, right now, um, if if people cut us off the airwaves, that's fine. But right now, <laughs> we are sponsored by the Winnebago Tribal Council, um, and we can have sponsors. So this kind of for everybody's information, we're a non-commercial radio station so far, and then eventually we can convert to commercial. But right now, it's non-commercial, so we have to go and get sponsorship. Yes. So if you're interested in sponsoring uh, Winnebago Talks. Um, Hit up Bethany Redhorn. Bethany, you've been on um, in the Winnebago Communications for how long? And kind of um, tell us about what, uh, give us the background so people know who you are. Okay. Um, well, I've started with the WIN um, as the office assistant in February of 2020. Um, and then I slowly uh, went to the office manager. And then Garen brought me on as the communications office manager, where now I get to kind of do a little of everything and kind of just... Um, Started out like not knowing what you know what I was getting myself into. Like we used to do our hand labels like by hand, and that's every single edition of every person and just everything. So seeing how far we've came, it's definitely like it just it feels real good to be a part of it and help and just you know try my best every day. And I really like really really love working here. So good, good. And you see the beautiful uh, decor of this room. We'll get some more. But uh, these two ladies, um, it was kind of like, a, a, to me, it reminded me of jail because it was like that yellowish, <laughs> kind of grayish, you know. But uh, they came in, they had some paint, and uh, we also put some soundproofing up. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of ways to go yet mm-hmm. and stuff. We have mm-hmm. the Winnebago tribal flag that we'll, we'll put up and some other, other things. But, um, yeah, we're getting there. We're mm-hmm. getting there and stuff. But go back to, we used to hand label and that was a system in itself. And I hope everybody oh appreciates this story <laughs> and stuff because... <laughs> They, they what, 1700 so you'd get the newspaper, and then you'd get a, a sticker, basically the, the address, and you'd put it on one by one, put that one off to the side, and you had yep. to do it 1,700 times. Yeah, there was a whole system to it and everything. Because yep. we, um, we have our location, so it's, it's like integrating with the post office on knowing where certain things are going. And um, we would separate, like, our in-towns from our out-of-towns. And then our in-towns, you know, the, the, say about under 400, mm-hmm. then the out of towns, that's the large pile, and that gets broke down into like eight different groups, and it was just, you know, a lot, it was time consuming, it wasn't hard, it was just time consuming, it mm-hmm. was so re- repetitious that we just had it down, and she can't even snap, I was trying to snap, <laughs> 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 but it just became so repetitious that we just had it, and um, we was like looking at these guns that you could like label, and like when I was looking at it, it was like 1100, and I was just like, there's got to be an easier way to do all this, and I don't, I don't remember who, whose idea it was to inquire to Lamar's about doing the labels, but some, someone, one of us got smart, and we finally asked, and then, and then it went, and it's been a good system. There you go. Work yeah. smarter, yep. not harder. Yep. And that kind of saved us a whole... A whole uh, day and probably a couple hours the next yep. day. Yep. About a day and a half. And then on top of that, imagine having nails... And then you're like sticking them all mm-hmm. over the place. So <laughs> how many then, paper cuts do you think? You know, it, <laughs> not <laughs> no, none, no. Yeah. crazily, yep. but you rub your face and you go to the little bathroom a little while later and then there's like streaks all over you. Oh. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> the newspaper resi- it's a, it'll transfer onto your finger, so you just have little black streaks all over. Yeah. <laughs> but before that, I don't know if you guys remember, but they used to typeset every word, you know, and then run the press and stuff. So if oh, you yep. can imagine wow. writing an article, that was Way back then, then, so we're not right now. We can just use the computer, <laughs> pump it out, and you know, get it get it sent and stuff. It does take a process, and we'll be up late uh, this evening. Usually, we kind of send it out. What? Geez, about one o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah, usually, but like, we're getting quicker. You know, we have a nice system where we have all of our stuff in by our deadline. So, 
just more or less about having a quickness with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that issue is going to be coming up here. That is going to be the March, what, 5th issue or something like that? I'm not even uh, sure what my day is. March 2nd? March. March yeah. But then it'll be, March. be out this Saturday. Yeah. Oh, be oh out. that's right. Wrong. It was March 5th. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Shooting all kind of days. We're, we're confu- confusing our it's listeners this out week, there. this week, okay? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be out this week. So it uh, looks like uh, we got Travis Mallory. He says, thank you for living on the res, kind of knowing of what's going on. Appreciate uh, him tuning in. And we got about 15 people. And feel free to share it. And uh, we'll also post this and probably replay it a little bit later. And uh, right now, um, just so you folks that are... Um, tuning in, what we talked about is the bagel bits. Uh, we're talking about the Winnebago Engine News and some of the things on there. We have our very first trivia game. My answer is, and that's going to be Bethany versus Tyler. We're going to find out who's going to win on that one. So that's coming Should up here today. And uh, we're going to close out today's show on a great discussion on Winnebago Talks. So that's going to happen right now. But uh, what we would like to do is invite uh, one of our tribal programs in. And um, Tyler, I know that uh, you have to get working on an article and stuff. We'll call you back in when we do the trivia a little bit later here. So that's going to be coming up probably about quarter tell. Bring your A games. And uh, <laughs> Sunshine Bear is the Angel Decorum Museum director. And uh, they're doing a lot of good things. I like to say that um, it is the best known secret in Winnebago uh, because they're kind of tucked away up there at Little Priest Tribal College. And um, they, they have a, a very good... Um, you know, system that they have going on, and there's a lot of good things here that um, are taking place in the Winnebago um, area. And the Angel Decoro, let's see here, we get a little feedback, but we'll get it going. So, uh, Sunshine, how you doing out there? And uh, welcome, and tell us about uh, you, and uh, tell us about the Angel <coughs> Decoro Museum. Well, hi, Niki. Um, I am Sunshine Thomas Bear, and I am... Go ahead and um, let's... Yeah, there you go. Keep going. Oh, okay. A little bit closer. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am the Angel Decora Museum Director. I'm also the DIPO, which stands for the Tribal Historic Preservation Officer, and the Cultural Preservation Director for the Winnebago Tribe. Um, I'm also the NAGPRA rep for now. Um, wow, we're applying for Ackerman. <laughs> okay, so Zippo and NAGPRA and yeah. what else? Okay. Yep. NAGPRA is Native American Graves Repatriation Act. Right. Um, so um, we do a lot of work up there, and yep, we are the best known, best kept secret mm-hmm. in Winnebago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then who, um, shout out your staff. Who's um, I currently have uh, Ben Crawford, he's the curator. I have Jordana Blackfish. She's my assistant in all things up there. Um, she definitely keeps me on my toes and on my calendar. <laughs> um, let's see. I have Jordana Bass. She is our media specialist. Um, we are currently looking for more funding. Um, you know, to keep her, we have a you know a small budget. So, um, and we also have Maxwell Little Walker, and he um, helps us with translation, our language, and labeling everything in Ho Chunk up there. So, yeah, those are my staff. They are pretty amazing. Um, We, this past Thursday, we went up to Madison, um, and we uh, participated in the Snow Snake Festival up there in Mm. San Damiano. Okay. Um, It's, like, right across the lake from Madison, so you can see the capital um, from where we were at. Um, So we are working currently on bringing that traditional game home. Okay. Um, But right now... Mother Nature is not working well for us. We have yeah. zero snow. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, so we definitely need snow to play that game. Um, but uh, let's see. Maxwell, oh, he plays first uh, in that um, in those games oh, up so there. Oh, so you guys went so up there and brought some hardware back. Yeah, he did. He that. did, yep. Cool. And it, that pi- that picture of him is on our um, Facebook page. So if you follow the Angel Decor Museum, you can see everything that we're kind of up to. Um up there, and we try to uh, we try to uh, keep everything open. You know, if anyone wants to send anything, if anyone wants to share anything, if they want to learn anything, you know, please contact us. Uh, you know, we're always willing to help whomever. You know, whenever we can. Definitely. So, snow snake. Let's talk about that a little bit and stuff. <laughs> how, how do you, how do you play it? I'm imagining like maybe they they make snow or. Uh, you know, I, I kind of seen the picture. It looks like a sticks involved and stuff. Like yeah. That. Like so kinda... um, 
uh, you know, back in the day, we didn't have all these devices taking all of our attention. So, right. you know, they had to occupy themselves in other ways, and we played a lot of games. So Snow Snake was one of them. Um, we, well, they would, um, you know, kind of decorate a stick. And if you've seen on our pictures, like Bill Quackenbush, he's the one that invited us up there. Mm -hmm. So um, some of those sticks, you know, they're various lengths and sizes and um, weights. Uh, and then some of them do look, you know, they're designed to look like snakes. Some of them had like Ho-Chunk applique on them, you know, and the track itself, um, I think was over 400 feet long. Um, so it's kind of, you know, it starts as a little little mound and then it goes down. So you drag a lot, well, you push a bunch of snow in the middle and then you drag a log around the middle of it all the way up to the top, um, the beginning of the snow snake path. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, you know, it'll eventually get kind of iced over. So then, you know, you would get, well, up there we got three turns and then, you know, the furthest out of those three, you know, was our entry. Oh. So I believe Maxwell got, was it 377 or something? I might be wrong, wow. but 377 feet um, or around there. So, wow. and I think Ben was right behind him, but. It, what, was that the first time he played it or is he kind of a professional? I think it was the first time I think we played it. Oh, wow. Um, I know that we had introduced it a bit at, um, Michelle's immersion classroom, mm -hmm. you know, with the Ho-Chunk Renaissance. So they played a bit, but we obviously have not had enough snow to, you know, play a game. Yeah. So um, that's my hope for this year is that, you know, Mother Nature will, will work with me. Well, and <laughs> what do you think? Do you think we're going to get one more snow or you think we're done, man? It was yeah. really nice. It was like 60, yeah. 70. I think we broke records and stuff yeah. because of the, yeah. it's been really dry. It kind of um, bothers me a little bit. You it's, know, it's a little frightening. Yeah, yes. because yeah. it's going to yeah, be so definitely. dry. I know that... Um, you know, I was kind of talking to Isaac Smith and Matt May, and it, 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 it looked kind of dry downtown. We're kind of worried about the timber, but um, I think that uh, I think we got one more. Usually around March, you know, April, even in April before. I remember traveling down to Gathering of Nations, and we got stuck in a snowstorm one mm -hmm. time. You know what I mean? So it could even into May lately, yeah. it has been flurries and stuff. So I'm hoping we get one. Um, one more snowstorm and maybe we can throw a quick game together, but then we need the community to get going on some snow snakes. So if they, um, you know, individuals or families can make their own snow snakes, if they go ahead and follow our page, they can look at um, some of the examples that Bill had, mm -hmm. um, which is on there and I can share some more pictures today as well. Yeah, that'd be good, good project and stuff. I know, does this Winnebago Public School still have the shop department and stuff? Maybe is that? If they get a template or something. Maybe I believe they do, yeah. That would be uh, very, very cool to, to see and, and witness and bring in that game home. I know that in, when the pandemic started, um, we started to learn the, the, the card game. Oh, Pinaga? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that's a fun game. And, it is. Uh, we was kind of asking around because um, I know that the Angel Decor was doing like these educational series videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were asking around, and a lot of people forgot about the game. They said, that's an old game that... Uh, they haven't really played it around here in a long time. So uh, we actually, me and my brother, we took off to Wisconsin, and uh, Rita Kingswan helped mm -hmm. us learn that and stuff. And then I know that um, in the past that uh, you did some research and, and everything. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, then you guys had, I believe, in conjunction, um, a thing at Ho-Chunk Center. Tell us a little bit about that, where it was a night that they had just kind of played that and people that wanted to learn. I believe that was Ho Chunk Renaissance. Was it? Well, yeah, Ho that was Ho Chunk that Renaissance. Was doing that and stuff. Um, I know that you, some of your staff came out there and, and helped out. Um, I like playing the game myself and and uh, Maria Scott, me, yeah. and you, um, Lewis. We used to play and uh, we used to play for what dinner or lunch? Oh, or? lunches. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, you guys are right now the holding the title. You and Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, so I got to get my partner together and get Ashley here and <laughs> so we can play again. Um, but it's so busy with our schedules, you know, but, you know, this traditional game knowledge is, you know, important as well. I think we have to set time aside, you know, out of our busy schedules because, you know, we're not going to keep remembering those rules, you know, because there's a lot of rules. And, you know, when once you play it after a while, it's like, oh, what do I do now? And, you know, yeah. we're trying to discuss it, but... Um, that repetition and will help us with retention, you know, of these games so we can pass them on. That's very good. So Angel Decorum Museum, what other projects that you guys got coming up? 
Wow. Um, so we have a ton of projects coming up. Um, we're also working on applying for a NAGPRA grant, which would be uh, the first here, mm. um, you know, which would take a little bit of work off of my, my desk um, with yeah. a NAGPRA rep. I know that, um, you know, bring them home. You yeah. Know what I mean? And yep. that's, there's a lot of kind of the big movement out there, and especially the boarding school children and stuff. Yes. Know? Yep. And, and that's something we're still working on with the Carlisle. I know that we had talked about it uh, earlier this fall um, with the tribal council and stuff, but I was kind of waiting for it to get nicer out mm -hmm. um, before bringing them home um, so we could do something for them. Um, but besides that, you know, we're in... Uh, we're in St. Augustine's. Um, we work with various programs, Boys and Girls Club, the Immersion Classroom, um, you know, and we collaborate with anyone. Anyone who wants to collaborate yeah. with us, you know, that's what it's about, you know, is rebuilding these relationships in our communities. Yeah. In our community, um, we don't have enough of that. Yeah. We need to rebuild our relationships and, you know, get past all these little bickerings and mm -hmm. uh, work together as yeah. a people, you know, because uh, things are starting to look a little bit scary out there and we need to come together. So yep. that's important to the Angel Decor Museum and myself, you know. Right, right. I mean, if the pandemic taught us anything, you know, we could, uh, you never know when the next one is going to be and stuff, the pandemic and stuff. So I think that that's, we're getting educated and, you know, you guys making sure that the history is recorded and mm -hmm. making sure that the, everything is preserved is very important for the survival of the tribe. And I know that Ho-Chunk Renaissance is doing a lot of good things with the, the language, and um, you're doing a lot of good things. with. I, I think you guys got, like, a, uh, a memorial coming up or something um, for oh, the artists? Oh, yep. Um, Jackie Stevens. Yeah. Um, which is, uh, she's an artist, pottery, and um, she used to live in Santa Fe. And she uh, passed away, and her family is the White Beaver family. Mm -hmm. um, so... That would be something we're working with Emmy Scott and Aaron mm -hmm. um, on having this month. I don't remember the date. Do you? Um, no, I don't. But I know that we're going to try to stream it out to yes, people and yes. stuff. So we'll um, make sure you check out the uh, Angel Decora Facebook page as yeah. well as uh, Winnebago the Big Voice on Facebook, and we'll get that information posted. Yeah. Yep. So um, besides that, we, you know, have our videos up there. We are working with uh, HR um, here with the. Um, within our tribe, our, the Winnebago tribe of Nebraska, and then 12 clans and uh, LPTC, because there are various entities. So um, getting them to work with us um, for cultural sensitivity. So like our new hires would come up to the museum, take a tour, you know, watch our video, learn about the community that they will be working in. Um, so hopefully that will help them in their jobs mm -hmm. here in the community, but also, you know, feel a connection to our people, you know, because that's important as well. Um, you know, and everybody has those stories, you know, where they weren't treated well, so I'm hoping that this will help remedy some of that. I, I got a question. I don't know if, if, if Angel the Cora can help, but we get a lot of, on the tribe's Facebook page, a lot of people are saying, my father, I think, is a descendant of so-and-so. Mm -hmm. um, do we send them your way, or is that kind of like some enrollment? I mean, you know, um, I, I don't want to, because there's a lot of people out there that have yeah. roots back to Winnebago, but. And we like to help um, just to get them on the right track. Um, I know we ha we're we working with a few families right now um, that are not, you know, obviously in Winnebago. Um, but we also uh, want to help with that connection, because there's that historical trauma there that our people all face, um, whether we want to admit it or not. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, during the relocation era, you know, where um, our people were sent to various cities, um, you know, people just want to find their way home, yeah. you know. So um, we want to be that, those people for them to reach out to, you know, someone caring and understanding and kind of help them. Even if we couldn't, you know, find the their family members, maybe we could point them in the right direction or assist them in some way. That's, uh, I appreciate you doing it. Yeah, we... So next time we maybe get one of those questions and stuff, we'll let you know. And, mm -hmm. and um, appreciate your your. So we have a favor to ask. Uh, this is Winnebago Talks. This mm -hmm. is episode one, and I know that people. We kind of pose the question: What top three songs would you like to hear and stuff? But can we do like with the Angel the Coral Museum? If we can maybe have somebody come up and tell us like maybe some of the history of Winnebago on this day, or mm -hmm. you know like some of the treaties that we signed, or some kind of some of the things about the Winnebago history, a lot of listeners in the area, um, our towers out in Allen, Nebraska, and 
we have people that try to listen and stuff and trying to provide content, but would you be willing to help us with that? We would. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So. Um, and, you know, is this every Tuesday? It's going to be every Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Yep. We can get some tidbits for you every Tuesday. Um, like today, I believe uh, one of our leaders, uh, Frank Lemire, it's his birthday today. So, oh, okay. Um, you know, definitely thinking of him today and yeah. his family, yeah. um, you know, keeping them in our prayers. Yeah. Um, you know, and was totally influential in a lot of things. And definitely. So, um, but, yeah. <laughs> so he used to contribute to the Winnebago and the News and left uh, a lot of good things and stuff. I always remember um, him and my father passed away on the same day. Uh, it was mm -hmm. Father's Day. And uh, two, two of the Bear Clan members. And uh, But Frank, I remember one time... Uh, I had to DJ out there in Washington, D.C. for the HCI. Uh, they have an office out there, and they yeah. have employees out there. And he showed up, and uh, but he, he got up there and danced. You know what <laughs> I mean? So that was really cool, you know what I mean? So kind of good memories of him and stuff. So, yeah, happy birthday, and yeah, um, happy heavenly birthday and stuff. And we also I know that there's families in mourning um, going on right now, and a lot of times uh, the, the tribe and the council, they, they postpone their meetings and stuff. So they're respecting the family on that one. So we appreciate it. And we want to send our condolences and our thoughts and prayers to the mourners out there mm -hmm. as well. And, and so definitely, so. like, um, I think our highway project will be postponed due to the deaths in the community. Yeah. Was it supposed to be tomorrow, right? Yeah, it was supposed to be tomorrow. So uh, for those folks that don't know, the Winnebago tribe donated um, a big portion. Um, there was a gentleman over in Thurston and uh, he's working for the Nebraska Medal of Honor si Highway Sign Project. And um, he wanted to recognize uh, John Rice and uh, Mitchell Red Cloud. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were going to do a check distribution to him and kind of have maybe some of the Angel Decora read the biographies of those two gentlemen yes. and uh, kind of let people know uh, who the Medal of Honor recipients belong to in Ho Chunk and Winnebago Tribe. And so um, that was going to be postponed, but I think we were scheduled Thursday at 9.30. Yes. And yep. th that will also be over on Facebook as well. So if you have an opportunity, um, Gordon Rave is the veterans. Uh, don't want to mess up his title. We just did a story on him, too. He is the Winnebago Tribes Veterans Officer, Service Officer. Correct. And uh, appreciate Matt's help on that one. But, uh, th you know, veterans to the Winnebago Tribe. Highly regarded. Yes. And I know that we have our annual celebration to recognize them, but you guys did a veteran sing yourself at Angel Decora this year. Yeah, and we Day. try to, um, you know, always do something for them. Um, you know, or was it a Veterans Day? Yeah, it was. We ran Veterans their Day. names, um, or well, you know, we read their names, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we had the drum group there that day. Which was really quick, but we kind of threw it together. So thanks, Garen, for all your hard work. You also do a lot of hard work behind the scenes, so I know everybody appreciates that. Yeah. So, um, and then we also made some videos, um, you know, regarding uh, the veterans in our community. We're still working on some and probably will continue to do so. Yep. So, um, you know, we do a lot of videos in various, uh, for various reasons mm -hmm. at the museum, just to preserve that culture and... Um, you know, so anybody can watch it at any time. All right. Well, good job. We appreciate you joining us here, um, Sunshine. And uh, we, we had a whole 15-minute segment on the, the Angel Decorum <laughs> Museum that uh, you folks are willing. If uh, Basically, you guys are located up at the Angel Decorum Museum, but you do also do some Zoom events. and We do Zoom events, um, and we have uh, worked with various schools um, throughout different states as well who have reached out to us. Um, so we just set up, you know, Zooms if they can't come in, which is something um, positive about the pandemic, I guess, you know, that um, kind of opened up those. Because um, I'm not very technically savvy. <laughs> but so now we have Zoom, you know, which um, allows other people from, um, if they aren't here, to learn more about our tribe. Right. And I think that's important um, to get past you know, racism or just not knowing, you know, yeah. um, mm -hmm. to help our people. So we work a lot with that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for, uh, yeah, we invite you to every episode and uh, we appreciate you coming in, taking time out to um, come up here and, and uh, join us for the first episode of our Winnebago Talks. So. I know, it's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> So with that, um, we'll go on to our next segment. And uh, Sunshine, you have a good rest of your day. And thank you for you joining too. us. You too. Thank Thanks, you, everybody, for listening. Thanks, Bethany. Okay. So, Bethany, are you ready? Um, we ready. come to that point of time 
where we are going to do uh, my answer is. Now, the rules are very simple. If you have to give an answer, even if you know what's going to be wrong, all right? And then we'll, we'll call Tyler in here, and then we'll see who um, uh, makes sure. So is it like, hold on, is it like a row of questions, or is it a question? It's going to be five questions. Okay. okay. Now, for those folks that are tuning in, uh, feel free. If you know the answer, um, put it in the Winnebago, the Big Voice Facebook, and uh, we'll see if they're yeah, wrong. Yeah, you got to turn your <laughs> phone over, and here's the first question. Are you ready? Okay, so yes. eventually we're going to get background music and whatnot and stuff. Okay. But um, here, well, let me hold up. Let's see here. Got to get kind of some intro music for it. This is the very first episode of My Answer Is. Okay. Okay. All right. That was, that was a good walking song. You know, like the hype of music. Yep. And all this <laughs> here we go. So question number one. This popular TV series featuring four indigenous teams broke a lot of barriers and was deemed a success. Reservation Dogs. This show is called Reservation Dogs, but here's the question. Ouch. What TV network was it showing on? <laughs> she was pumped up. She was like, I got that one in the back. TNT. TNT? That TNT. TNT? No, Fox. No. Wait. <laughs> wait, you got to give me a final answer here. TNT. TNT? TNT. Did you even have TNT? <laughs> 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 no, Fox. I changed my answer to Fox. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Well, uh, you say TNT. It was on Hulu. Fox. Okay. We're going to TNT, right? You're going to lock that answer in? No, I'm going with Fox. Okay. You're going with Fox. Yeah. All right. Sorry. So. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. So we got that question. We'll, we'll see if you're right or not. Okay. okay. Question number two. Russia recently invaded Ukraine. The U.S. imposed sanctions on uh, Russia, sending their bank system into a frenzy. What is the Russian currency system called? Hmm. My answer is, you got to say something. What do they call the Russian dollar? If you a check. No. A check. C-Z-E-C-H. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. You gotta like give me an answer. That's Just what I'm. That's my answer. What is it? C Z E C H. C Z C H. Okay. C Z E C H. C Z E C. Okay. So C. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's like check, but <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> okay. All right. Tyler's gonna beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing too good on that episode. <laughs> okay. Question number three. Nebraska will be allowing casinos to be built at existing horse tracks. That was a law passed not too long ago. They're still working on that law. Uh, what is the name of the casinos that will be built in Lincoln, Omaha, and South Sioux City? War Horse. Oh, okay. War Horse. Your final answer. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. War Horse. All right. Question number four. You're pretty confident on that one, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Question number four. The Corona... Virus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, also known as the CARES Act, is a $2.2 trillion economic stimulus bill. The ARPA is a $1.9 trillion economic stimulus bill passed in March of 2021. What does ARPA stand for? The American... Wait. The American Rescue Plan. I just know. ARP. <laughs> American Rescue Plan. All American Rescue Plan. <laughs> All American. I, I don't know what the first A. I just know it's American Rescue Plan. You don't know the first A. No. But American Rescue Plan. You forgot an A. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. She's knocking stuff over. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We'll see if you get that one right. All Hopefully right. I'm making people laugh. No. <laughs> wow. Okay. Here we go. The final question. Right. <laughs> She's like, get me out of this game. <laughs> All right, question number five. Which musical okay, artist no. made a surprise guest appearance? Oh, made, okay, well, hold up. <laughs> let me back up. Which musical artist made a surprise guest appearance in this year's Super Bowl halftime show? <laughs> I know. I, that's why I'm getting you guys back. You guys, I told you guys to watch it. But. Um, who was it? I know that people were going off about it. <laughs> it was Tupac, his hologram. No, just kidding. <laughs> Tupac, your final answer? No. no. Okay. All right. um, it was. Which musical guest made a surprise? There's the lineup, and I don't know who came out at when. I'm just going to go with. Um, 
My answer is. My answer is. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Okay. Snoop Dogg made a surprise guest appearance. <laughs> All right. If you can help me out, let's go get Tyler and see how you did here. And um, we'll. Okay, folks. Um, that was Bethany's take on my questions. We got 10 minutes left here in this series. Um, so we're going to try to do one hour every Tuesday. And uh, we'll kind of wrap things up. But this is my qu my answer is. All right. So, Tyler, come on over. You, wherever you want to sit. And uh, go ahead and put the headphones on. And um, Okay. So Tyler's back, and, and Bethany left the room. I think Bethany can come back in. You can, you can grab her. Sunshine. Sunshine's still helping us out here. All right. So give me a check real quick. It's microphone checker. Check, check. One, two. All right. You can hear yourself? <laughs> uh, a little bit. OK. Yeah. Sound good? All right. All right. Here we go. So for those <laughs> folks uh, that are helping, I, I got some people down there that are helping us here. So appreciate you guys' help. Um, this is my answer. Is, the rules of this game here is you have to give an answer. Even if you don't know it, you have to give an answer, okay? And then we'll, we'll see if you got it right and then how many you got right, okay? <laughs> so let me, um, just to kind of let you know, all right, I, I won't let you know. I'll let you know <laughs> afterwards how many she got right, okay. okay? Question number one, the popular TV series featuring four indigenous teens broke a lot of barriers and was deemed successful. This show is called Reservation Dogs. What TV network was it shown on? I know it was on Hulu. I didn't watch it so much, but so I'm going to say. You're going to say. It starts with an F, but I'm not sure if it's one or the other. Okay. Because I have Hulu, but I, I don't know. What I'm going to just go with Hulu. Okay. Final <laughs> answer? Yeah. All right. So I'll let you know. That is the correct answer. Hulu is the correct <laughs> answer. And you said Fox. Okay, so Fox Isn't News. Is it Fox News? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, I, it was FX. Okay, so uh. we have one to zero so far. Question number two. <laughs> Russia recently invaded Ukraine. The U.S. imposed sanctions on Russia, sending their bank, banking system into a frenzy. What is the Russian currency system called? What do they call a dollar over there? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> well, 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 my answer is try to give it a guess Gee, a here. Pence, not. Nah, what did you say? <laughs> is it a pence? A pence? Yeah. Okay, a pence. <laughs> All right, but okay. So both of you guys didn't get that one right. Sunshine, do you know the answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a rupee it. or something. Is that it? <laughs> See, I would have never guessed that. <laughs> that was my next. Yeah. <laughs> So it starts with the R, and it's a rubles. Tell her what mine was. <laughs> I, it was C. What, what was it? It was supposed to be Czech. <laughs> she Czechoslovakia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Question number three. Mm -hmm. Nebraska will be allowing casinos to be built at existing horse racetracks. Or okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> built at existing horse racetracks. What is the name of the casinos that will be built in Lincoln, Omaha, and South Sea City? War Horse. Oh, we got it. I to say Iron Horse. I don't know why. You wanted to say <laughs> Iron Horse, but it is the correct answer, War Horse. Both of you guys got that right, so good job on that. So Tyler leads <laughs> two. Bethany has one. Right, here we go. Fourth question. The Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, also known as the CARES Act, is a $2.2 trillion economic stimulus bill. The ARPA is a $1.9 trillion economic stimulus bill passed in March of 2021. What does ARPA stand for? I already got this one, I think. <laughs> American Relief Plan Act. American Relief Plan Act. That is wrong. What? Yeah, that is wrong. It's the it's American not. Rescue Plan Act. I said rescue, didn't I? No, she said relief. Ah, oh, <laughs> it was the same thing, though. I didn't get that. Okay. So I get half point, half point. <laughs> well, she, she forgot the A. So all you forgot, Bethany, was the act. So she said American Rescue Plan, but she's like, I don't know what the A stands for. What did I you said, say? I said all American Rescue Plan. Okay. Maybe we'll have to hit him up for sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last question. 
<laughs> and I think it's for the win here. Rick's coming down to the wire, folks. Here we go. Which musical artist made a surprise guest appearance at this year's Super Bowl halftime show? Surprise? Yeah. Who was the surprise guest? Oh, you got it right. She got it. We got a winner. Oh, my goodness. We got to play this this jam right here. Congratulations. How do I win? What do I win? (laughs) (laughs) So how do you feel being the first champion? I feel accomplished. (laughs) (laughs) So that was um, my answer is five questions and stuff. And we have one point. Tyler, and we'll see. Tune in next Tuesday to find out who the winner is going to be. Hey, folks, uh, we're coming down here to the top of the hour. KWTN, Allen, Nebraska, 100.9 FM, the big voice, the official radio station of the Winnebago tribe. And uh, before we get out of here, we've got about four minutes to wrap things up. Um, just wanted to say that, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that uh, really have encouraged us and there's a lot of people that have been helping us with the radio station and the communications department. And we hope that this grows. But we, we need your help, um, folks. If For those folks, maybe let people know about our Facebook page as well as um, some of the events that are coming up. We would appreciate that. And uh, we kind of wanted to get to um, what are your top three songs that you would play on the big voice? And we had a, a lot of people that uh, commented on it, and we appreciate it. We had 19 comments, and uh, one of them, Walker, said uh, Biggie Smalls. All right, that would be on the... The playlist, uh, Michelle Free Lemire said uh, Red Winter by, uh, let's see, Jesus. I believe that was, that's what, it, I'm probably going to butcher that name, sorry. So I have to listen to that song and check it out. Uh, Joe, Joe Painter said uh, Stuart Bull Snake, Native American church music. And uh, I think we, what we want to try to do is get all kind of genres that mm-hmm. we're going to play on the radio station and stuff. So we appreciate uh, those that gave us, uh, Julie Bassett said Southern Man. All right, is that... Uh, is that is that is that a indigenous song or is that kind of like that's a, a group. is that Almond Brothers, maybe Rambling Man or no, something I like that? I think it is Matt, a song. You know? I think it is a song. It like a okay, group. Southern Man. Okay. Um, <laughs> Elaine Rice said uh, <laughs> various <laughs> shows of different genres. So appreciate Elaine Rice's comment. Uh, Willie Bass said Superman, local artist in nineties R and B. I'm down with that, man. Let's do it. Let's do some nineties R and B. Maybe we can have like an hour. Or Just to throw it out there too, Garen, we do have like local artists here in the community too. Uh, such as um, well that I know off the top of my head, Marlon. Um, shoot, what is his name? They go. He goes by Mobstein. Oh, Mobstein. Um, yeah. Eugene Gilpin Ju- Jr. Um, they, he goes by Bull Gilpin. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the two that I know of. Wow, awesome. Uh, bite them in. Let's, let's mm-hmm. talk about see what they've got from shows. Support mm-hmm. Native artists. Support uh, Native businesses and things like that. Oh, and so then the biggest one is um, he's, he's my younger brother. His name's Tristan DeCora. He's actually got, um, I know both, I think they all do. They have some music featured on like Apple Music and stuff too. You can stream it. Wow, nice, nice. Um, so final word here. Is there anything that you want to say to the, the viewers out there and the listeners? Uh, Tyler? Uh, other than inviting me to your events, no. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. And, um, if you need to pitch your app or anything like that, just yeah. call up Tyler or email her. Mm-hmm. We'll get it going. Uh, Bethany has been doing a great job. Uh, tell us about the LED screen. Yeah, um, so just uh, in closing, <laughs> oops, just spilled my drink. In closing, um, if you need a um, celebratory shout-out, birthday shout-out, um, you can reach out to me at bethany.redhorn at winnebagotribe.com. Um, usually I just ask that you send about one to five pictures um, with a shout-out message. If you could be as brief as possible with the message, that usually works out better just so that, like, you know, in your passing of driving by the sign, like, you can really get a good look at what it actually says instead of it being all jumbled together. I mean, they still turn out nice, I think so, because some people will post them on Facebook and stuff, but... Um, but yeah, if you you know if you have a, some kind of announcing, I can't even talk exciting announcement that you'd like to put on the LED screen, you can reach out to me. Awesome, awesome. And then tonight we have um, I know that we support and we're trying to do sports yeah. as well as the big voice and stuff. And uh, Walt Hills Public School is going to be doing their district finals. The boys have made it to I believe they're ranked seventh. And uh, we're going to be broadcasting that, right? Yep. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so tonight we'll be um, heading down to uh, Madison, Nebraska, and we're going to cover the Walt Hill Blue Jays basketball game, um, and that will be at 6.30. Um, we'll be streaming from the KW, or the Winnebago Big Voice Facebook page, mm-hmm. hoping to hopefully stream from the YouTube as well, but we will keep um, everybody posted on that. And, um, yeah, just tune in later tonight and, um, you know, support local 
athletes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the neighboring tribe, the Omaha yeah, tribe, and it's to good to see. Like Winnebago mm-hmm. did a, a great season. They they are the Lewis and Clark, um, the Winnebago Indians are the Lewis and Clark champions. Yep. Uh, they fell in the first round of their sub districts and stuff. So did the girls last year. The Winnebago Lady Indians were on their way to state. They mm-hmm. did two upsets of the number one seeds. Um, in their district final and in the first round. So yeah, the it was exciting stuff because they hadn't gone since, I can't remember the yeah, exact the year, but it had been a long time. That was awesome. I was uh, glad that we were there to yep. capture that and stuff. So we'll be here uh, uh, later on tonight in Madison to cover the Walt Hill Blue Jays. So if you have an um, opportunity to tune in, you're more than welcome. We appreciate our sponsors for uh, helping us out and bringing that to the people that uh, can't make the game here tonight. So with that, Folks, uh, my name is Garen Coons. We got Tyler Snake. Yep, and <laughs> Bethany Redhorn. And appreciate uh, Sunshine Thomas Bear for joining us as the guest segment here. This is the first episode of Winnebago Talks, and uh, you folks have a good rest of your day. Hey, 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 hey.